Yeah. Oh, no, guys. We just talked about after after yesterday, walk through and everything, just kind of what you did the rest of the day, what the team did. Yeah, the biggest thing we've tried to do is recreate a, a normal week like we would have at Valley Ranch. So, obviously, it's a little bit different when you come over and you travel overnight, but we really encourage guys to get themselves up and moving around, get the blood flowing through their body. Uh, we had a really nice day. We had a walk through, kind of dynamic warm up, and then we did a Play 60 event uh, with a lot of kids from around here. I thought it was fantastic. The kids were great. I thought our team, our cheerleaders, everybody really embraced the whole thing. It really was a positive experience. And then we as coaches went to work, <coughs> excuse me, putting the plan together, and uh, the, co uh, the players got away a little bit. And again, we encouraged them to stay up as long as they could and get a normal night's sleep. And uh, by all accounts, everybody did that. We had good meetings this morning, good walk through this morning. Tony and his health, are you getting updates directly from him? Is it a collaborative effort in terms of how much he does and how much he will be leading up on Sunday? Yeah, we talk. Uh, feedback matters. Uh, obviously, all these things are medical decisions. Really important for our medical team to weigh in on what our players have. Uh, but getting feedback from the player as to how they feel, how they handle the workload is really, really important. And then you come up with what you need to do uh, during the week to get them prepared to play their best on Sunday. So that's been going on with all our players. Certainly it's been going on with Tony since he's had the surgery. And uh, I think it's been a good thing for us. Will Tony be here at practice or will he be back at the he will hotel? Not. He'll, be, he'll be back at the hotel getting treatment. Jason, you're a player. How do you measure good, good medical advice with the players uh, desire? Oh, I think it's always a medical decision first, and uh, the doctors and the trainers are the experts in the area. Uh, but I think if you ask any any doctor uh, in or out in or outside of sports, I think feedback from the patient matters, and and what the patient feels, uh, how the patient is responding to different things that they're doing. I think that's part of the whole evaluation process, and then we as coaches, the football people, uh, we're more interested in function. How's the player functioning? You know, we'll look at him. He might say this. The doctor might say this. But what we see is this, and, uh, and we give our feedback too. And we make a, uh, a collective decision as to what's right for the player and what's right for the team. So, well, Jason, does Tony staying at the hotel to get treatment today represent any sort of a, a setback? No. So that was in the plan. Well, again, it's just based on the feedback and uh, and, and what. Uh, he's told us how he feels. Uh, again, same thing with Tyrone Crawford and other guys who are dealing with injuries. You know, you get feedback, what they're able to do in practice. Is it more worthwhile to stay there and get treatment or come over here and watch practice and stand up for a couple hours? So it makes sense to stay back there, get some treatment. Got all the metal work this morning, got the walk through this morning, so uh, hopefully he'll be ready to go and do something tomorrow. Do you think Mintz has done a nice job. Uh, he really has. He's a veteran player who plays the right way. And, uh, and really has provided a little bit of a presence on our defensive line, uh, a leader on our defense and a leader on our team. Uh, comes to practice, uh, practices hard, plays hard. I think he's affected the quarterback. Uh, you know, he's got a, he's got a kind of a bull rush style where he where he pushes the pocket and impacts uh, the quarterback in the pocket, making him a little bit more uncomfortable than maybe he'd like to be. Uh, he's been active in the running game. Uh, has he played perfectly? No, uh, but he's part of a rotation that we like, and he's playing the right way. Yeah, I think you always try to do your due diligence on players and understand, uh, you know, what's been in their past, both good and bad, and maybe what the reasons might have been for some of those things, and, and try to figure out if that player fits into into what you want in your football team. And you know, I think the biggest thing with Mintz is he comes to work. He comes to work every day. Uh, it's attentive in meetings. He practices hard and he plays hard. And again, from people that we think are credible sources who have been around him throughout his career, that's what they described to us. And we went ahead and signed him. And, we're happy we did. I'm going to I'm going to tell a story on some of our our, our beat guys. Uh, one of the questions this week has been a lot about Tony Romo and about his health. And a few other guys keep asking me about the medicine here in London. Do they have medicine over there? Do they have MRIs? I'm like, this is where it all began. This is London, England, right? So uh, to answer your question, this is obviously a pretty special place. And uh, you know, uh, the opportunity for us to be here this week is special for us, and certainly. Any training camp opportunity would be nice. Uh, years ago, we used to play these preseason games over here and spend a week, and those are always great experiences for everybody.